Despite international concerns, Iran's foreign minister is defending the nation's right to conduct missile tests. Mohammad Javad Zarif says Iran has the right to defend itself, but Israeli leaders are calling his bluff. He claims the missile tests don't violate a UN resolution, and they're not illegal. In fact, he's actually blaming U.S. President Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu for all the recent escalation, and says the U.S. and Israel are constantly threatening to use force against Iran. All these comments come in response to Iran's missile tests on March 9th, which launched two long-range ballistic missiles that were decorated with messages against Israel. Zarif hasn't said anything about the Hebrew messages inscribed on the missiles, which said Israel must be wiped out. But Israeli leaders are not taking the decoration lately. Israeli Defense Minister Moshe Alon is warning that Iran is gaining hegemony in the Middle East. He's arguing that the only way to stop the country from gaining dominance in the region is to reimpose financial sanctions. There are at least three reasons today to sanction the Iranian regime. One is the proliferation of arms and terror. We have other evidence that they deliver weapons to terror organizations in the region. The second is the missiles, the ballistic missile test. Very provocative, believing that they are not going to be harmed because we shouldn't be the party spoilers of the deal. The third uh, uh, reason is human rights issues. This regime succeeded in strengthening the gripping government. And yes, we, we hear that uh, most of the Iranians are not happy with this regime.